Welcome back to the Challenger League. Easy Dream, they do give alternate attacks a run for their money. They've had a couple of close matches, but they have lost 0-2 in the opening two matches of their season. Close matches are great, Twiggy. They will help you out with that overall game score come the end, but they still will need to find a couple of wins in their upcoming matches. Yeah, definitely. Now, it's going to be real important here for Exalty to get something more out of this one. Obviously, having had a, you know, a tough start to last season and then having, you know, a really just difficult time of getting full, you know, wins against teams that were, uh, you know, higher hmm. seeds than them. This is a really good start that they've got for themselves. If they can get a win against BS Plus, then things are looking really up for them as a team. Obviously, you know, hmm. they win against Easy Dream. Easy Dream is not a high seed team. This is a team that we expect them to do at the very least decently against. So the, the win against them, not incredibly surprising, although it was a very good performance. This one is going to really, you know, spell how their uh, season is going to go. And these, I, look, I was talking about Easy Dream to kick things off there, but everything you said about Exalty is absolutely true as well, Twiggy. So I'm going to agree with you on everything that you've said. They I'm looking that forward first to the win. future, not the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, no, that it makes sense. It does not sense. do well to dwell on the past. It, that, you're so right, bestie. Um, <laughs> Exalty versus BS Plus competition. This is a match between two teams that we kind of do expect to end up in roughly similar places in the standings mm. come the end of the season. We talked about it a little bit during the week on Wednesday, Thursday, during our first matches. But these wins against teams that you expect to be competing directly against for playoff spots, for seeding coming into the playoffs, a win here is so important. You're not just winning for yourself, you're denying the other team that win as well. Handing them an extra loss matters so, so much. Yeah, and the mid table is going to be packed as it was last stage. It will be this stage, and I think the teams are just closer in general yeah. this stage than they were last stage. Uh, you know, we, we had a pretty pretty well packed kind of you know the top four. There were teams contending for that up until the last week. Just getting out of the bottom two, there were teams contending for that towards the last week. Even the top two, uh, Sprout and, uh, and Alternate Attacks were contending with each other right up until that final week. And and with the teams even more at each other's throats this time around, I don't think that's going to change in fact i think it's going to be uh, even more fervent yeah and twiggy we were really excited coming into this stage you know we were saying looks like the teams have some slightly different map pools looks yeah. like there's some different picks mm. coming out not sure about that and one. already here by our kind of second set of matches we're starting to see a first four get a little bit settled in vortex making a lot of appearances control and airwalk also appearing a lot and uh we're starting to see frosty band away in every single match so far too it's already starting to settle down a little bit teams are starting to get preferences it does open the way for a team to get brave practice a map that's maybe a little bit outside the norm and maybe try and upset some opponents on it but that's not exactly how we saw stage one going yeah, I mean, look, we, we, we saw that kind of thing going on, but like in stage one, really, the only time that happened was what? It, it was aero oh, pipes with Exalted. Yeah. And yeah. uh, that didn't even go very well for them. <laughs> like, they <laughs> lost not. it most of the time that they picked it. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to happen. Is there going to be, like, we've seen every team play now, and all mm. of them have banned Frosty. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll have to actually go back through the stats and figure out, is there any teams that won't ban Frosty? The problem is, if you have even half the teams banning Frosty, or if you have five or six teams banning Frosty in every yeah. single match, then it makes it very difficult to have a match where it doesn't sneak through. There were a couple of matches last stage where Gyroscope did sneak through. There were a couple of teams that didn't ban it every single time in the Challenger League, but even then, they weren't rushing to pick it, and it would sneak through. It ended up as the random pick in map seven a couple of times, and we never yeah. got far enough to actually see it. And Frosty does does feel here in our second set of matches like it is starting to go the same way. We'll hold out hope of seeing it at some point, but there is absolutely no guarantee of that. What we can guarantee is that as Exalty line up to face off against BS Plus competition, we should be in for a very close match. Yeah, although BS Plus competition did look very scary up against Orcs GP Nomalops uh, last week, or not last week, I guess a few days ago. Uh, mm. It was a very, you know, not a tight series whatsoever. For two teams that had the exact same uh, map scoreline, uh, the, I'm sorry, not map scoreline, but, uh, you know, series scoreline at the end of the, uh, the stage, it didn't look like two evenly matched teams whatsoever that time around. So if BS Plus competition keep up that kind of... Uh, competition in this one then it should not be a close <laughs> series whatsoever they should be taking it away <laughs> yeah, i don't know what's up with your sentence selection tonight just does seem to include team names the thesaurus in my head has uh, just gone i don't know where yeah. it is 
It's I've just really it. making it's making these links between team names and the words that you want to use a lot of the time. You yeah. Know? I, I don't control the words lobby. that come out of my mouth. That's, I think I hope everybody is aware of that. Twiggy, Twiggy, that's a player that's in this lobby at the moment. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, I said, I said Link. Sorry, I just yeah. it felt like you weren't acknowledging I me. I said Link. Yeah, no, sorry, I wasn't <laughs> acknowledging you. I never do. I, I, my own head is my own head. I don't actually listen to any of the words that you say whatsoever. That's why I never actually like go. Hmm, very right, Nua. Either way, this round looking like it's going to go in the favor of BS Plus competition for the time being. McQuattro splitting up Glass oh! and Snow, but it's going to be Link splitting up Glass and snow as well now as snow falls even further back and uh, yeah just like winter snow falling all over the place <laughs> oh lord how long have you been sitting on that one snow has fallen one off week. on the final pipe and it has allowed exalty <laughs> to pick up the draw in this opening round we'll see where they managed to go from here it was decent up at the top end We'll see how the times do start to shape out on this one. It is uh, Exalty picking first on this one, and yep. this is where they've chosen to take us. Yeah, I mean, it. it, it no, it's BS Plus competition picking first. Yeah, I was going to say, BS Plus competition, competition first. Not I'm losing my mind. Yeah, either yeah, way. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. It does seem like, well, I mean, this map, we've only seen Sprout <laughs> play one series, and they got the world record here, so obviously. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just looking at the fact that Snow and Glass both made very early mistakes and giggling. Yeah. And it's just, it's it's a rough start, honestly. It's maybe not something to giggle about. It's just weird <laughs> me to when see. The lobotomy, honestly. Me <laughs> when the first, when the first round is as close as the first round was, and then immediately the second round is one team, both players dropping down in nearly the exact same way to six seconds behind. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, well, now Mikwakshu Link well ahead of things, and it's looking like they may just take this round away. Uh, it should be fine for both of them, surely. He's surely wobbling both get so through. much. Oh, Link, oh, he's wobbling quite a lot. I don't think that's six seconds worth of a mistake, no. but uh, it was definitely not the cleanest round so far. 106.3 uh, is a pretty decent time as well. Not quite getting towards the uh, the, the records that we have down in the uh, mid-105s at this point, but Exalted get the race. That's all that, that's all that matters in the end. Yeah, four to one now, and Exalty will take a commanding lead. Kick things off, looking to continue on with a much stronger start to their season than they did have in stage one, where it took them a very long time to pick up their first win and they languished at the bottom of the table as a result unfortunately for them despite again looking at times like a team that should be ta challenging for top half yeah well class and snow now wanting to take back that ace probably it was an unfortunate round for them they really had no chance of getting into it after the first couple seconds uh, so now just needing to uh, take that one back and show that they are capable of it for now link is splitting them up mcquatcher gets a little bit of a shaky exit from the bobsleigh and loses a bit of time uh, to every other player in the lobby but now again generally consistency is not uh, you know, it's something we get quite a lot out of Vortex, honestly. You know, you'll see big mistakes from time to time, but apart from that, uh, it, it's it's it seems like a relatively simple map once you get the lines down and you actually get them consistently done. Glass and Snow staying in first and second just about. Link has more speed than Snow, it looks like, and will stay in second for this one and split them apart. BS Plus competition not allowed to get those points back, but at the very least close that gap a little bit. And it could have been the ace, could well have been the ace. And it's a great job by Link to split them and manage to deny the counter ace and keep that lead alive for Exalty. They remain two points up here. They're oh. halfway to what they need, uh. but Link will oh. fall off the first beam. It's a mistake that we see occasionally. Just a little bit of a wrong setup ends up looking very strange indeed as you try to hit that spinner and just miss a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I always love when players take that outside line on the dirt and zoom yeah. past everybody else. McQuattro. Oh, goes for that. Snow does not make it through into what is going on this round. McQuattro went for the scenic route there on the Let's small just, grass just stick with glass. Yeah, glass, everything is fine. Glass is doing great. You know, honestly, woo! Yeah, I love glass. Glass is doing <laughs> awesome. Everybody else is, you know, in the lobby. Uh, but it is looking like it's going to be a glass show from here on out. It's going to be very tight, actually, between the bottom three. Yeah, I mean, actually, oh, Mikotro has uh, missed mind. again mm, at the back. Link is uh, yeah. a long way down from Snow as well. Yeah, and that yeah. really is the battle that matters right now. We assume that Glass, yeah, Glass is cleanly through all the way to that finish line. Oh. With Link making another mistake, that round is still going to be an ace. Uh, look, ultimately, BS Plus competition have been kind of 
handed that ace as Snow just keeps it clean enough to get across the line, Double only DNF. making one no. catastrophic error as opposed to the several made by the members of Exalty on that round. Link is just Hey, Miquacho got that! Let's go! <laughs> Miquacho does cross the line and passing his teammate, <laughs> who was just... Just vibing away from the finish line. I mean, while, Nick Walsh got the photo finish at the end there, to be fair. Very cool. Mm. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, uh, not really good for anything. Uh, you know, no points gained <laughs> off of that. I didn't mean Miquatra isn't good <laughs> so for anything. Mean. I know, you're like, as soon as I said it, you were like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. hmm. He, he has said a word which sounds funny to me in a certain context, which he didn't mean it in. No, you'd never do that to me. You'd never take a word I said and uh, apply oh, the no. worst faith uh, interpretation of it in no, order that's to make Twitch me chat's feel job. bad. That's, that's oh, yeah, Twitch no, that's fair job. enough. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Either way, here we go. Looking for a clean around this time. It is going to be a touch from Snow, though, on that. And a slow exit for Link as well with the water wheels making him slide out a little bit out of that previous turn. It's Miquatro and Glass up at the front with Glass just on pure driving. No mistakes, really, from Miquatro. Glass has that four tenths lead. Yeah, and as long as he keeps it clean here, all good. But McQuadrick does have more speed starting up this section. It's a long pole. You need to keep that speed all the way through. May just be able to catch up. No, that final turn has just kept Glass ahead slightly. More speed Oof. throughout the whole thing. McQuadrick caught up by uh, several tenths there. Oh, Link. Oh, ouch. <laughs> That's going to hurt in the morning. BS Plus competition moves slightly further ahead, up to eight points now. Exalty only on six. They do not have the opportunity to win this round for themselves. Not the opportunity to take this map away on this final round by pulling off the ace. But an ace would still put them in a very strong position. So I'm going to say it, Twiggy. I still think they should try and ace their opponents. <laughs> I do think that would be uh, a tactically sound option uh, to, to get... Uh, as many wins as possible. Yes, I do agree with you on that one. Link <laughs> has uh, lost a little bit of time there and has to take a higher jump. So it is Glass and McQuattro out front. Snow and Link down by a few tenths now. Oh, where did... What? Snow? Oh, Glass it's even? Just, Glass just, just lost down a little bit. two tenths for no reason? Okay, cool. Happens. You know, sometimes you have to release a little <laughs> bit to keep turn going. Sometimes dirt gears don't quite work out for you as you go through them. It does mean, as you say, Glass is trailing a little bit. Had problems with this turn on the last round, not so on this round. Gaining on Link as a result and managing to keep this round alive for BS Plus competition. Miquatro has the lead, leading from Snow, from Glass as well. And it is going to be a tight, two tight battles going on as we head into our identity. Yeah, Snow takes as much speed as possible out of that turn, but McQuattro does as well. Oh, narrowly avoiding Snow! Yeah, no, as soon as you go out of uh, Kilter just a little bit there, suddenly it all goes wrong. McQuattro crosses the line with a great time. Glass following by one second, but Link again is having a lot of trouble with this identity and gives away at that draw to BS Plus competition. We get some one point closer to the end. Yeah, and BS Plus competition, <laughs> they will be fine with those draws. Link is having some struggles. Should I give him uh, one wicked point for that, to be fair? For, No, because he didn't finish. It does not count. That's does, how no, it works. No, no. You, you said that earlier no. today. I am quoting you back to you. No, no, I no, that was no, that was because okay, yeah, look, we'll, we'll go over the we'll go over stuff again later. All right, on. rule book uh, needs some patching. You, I, I do. It does say inconsequential or DNF gets you one point on this. Ah, okay, okay. If well, he intentionally went earlier. to flip there, then yes, yeah. that's fair. Twiggy, focus up. It's nine to seven. We're guaranteed a winner in this round. <laughs> I'm giving him a point. Either way, uh, <laughs> Glass and Snow, yes. They are in the driver's seat this time around. Now just need to finish things off. One point, uh, just one player in the top two is absolutely perfect. And with the way the uh, identity has been going for Exalty, that's looking more than likely at this point. Link, once again, doesn't manage to cancel out that slide and uh, falls back even further. One full second now the gap uh, to uh, Glass at this point and Snow uh, keeping it clean once again. Yeah, it just keeps it real nice and tight through that turn and uh, keeping up with McQuattro. McQuattro can't do anything at this point. Uh, we'll need mistakes from both players BS Plus competition. We will not see them. McQuattro may catch Glass. There's not enough track left for it to happen. We'll keep it nearly within a tenth. But Glass and Snow close it out with another round win. It'll be 11 to 8 the final score. Link's just not even... <laughs> He didn't even get it that time. He didn't get the flip. Is he trying to farm points from me? Is that what's going on? He's trying to farm points! He's actually farming wicked... Oh, I just realized 
I saw he liked it on Twitter, the clip of him getting points. He knows! He's actually trying to farm Wicked Championship points! <laughs> Betraying his There's teammate no in order to farm Wicked points. He's actually Link, farming I genuinely, He didn't finish a round in, I think, the last four rounds there <laughs> at the end. And it's an 11 to 9 no match. Way. Look, he was out a lot of the time. Anyway, early mistakes were really what cost Exalty that round. But it's close. On BS Plus competition's pick on Vortex, Exalty make it difficult for them. And uh, if they win nothing else, they win the battle for Wicked points. I'm not updating the rulebook. If you, no, uh, the whole point of the Wicked Championship is that you intentionally go for Wicked points. If, if he wants to sacrifice, <laughs> if he wants to sacrifice the Challengers League, <laughs> to, to get Wicked Championship points for no prize whatsoever. He is more than welcome to do so. I, I will crown him the victor with no problems whatsoever. Now, that is absolutely fine. But I would like to point out at this point that Twiggy does not speak for Nadeo. <laughs> All opinions are his own. Just, uh, you know, making sure that's clear to everyone. No, 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 I'm just saying he has free will. But, uh, like, I'm not saying that he should do that. I'm just saying he has free will. If he wants, like, that's, that's his own prerogative. I'm not going to stop him from doing so. I'm not going to dock him points from, from doing it uh, intentionally. Either way, BS Plus competition do win out that map. And uh, Exalty having a difficult time. Or, or maybe Snow having a difficult time. Snow is having a very difficult time. The wall has made life hard for him on that occasion, but Glass holds on to the lead. And Exalty, they're looking to keep a draw or maybe salvage a win out from this one. Link will be taking a safe line through me. Quattro going a little bit wider, but sliding a little bit. Will not have a very fast entry into the follow-up, and that means any chance of catching up to Glass is probably gone. With no mistakes from Glass around the final turns, Glass will cross the line with a 105.4 to kick things off here. That is quick. It's not quite a Challenger League record, really but it good. is very close to the challenger league record a challenger league record set by glass yeah brilliant that from glass and yeah I, I feel like glass is very comfortable here obviously as he's shown so many times and a lot of the time when you set really good times it does not mean your, your, your average time is going to be great but for glass it seems that way on pool just setting really good times over and over again which is i mean it's it's something we saw a lot of the time from players like Skandir and Mosel, right? That was alternate attacks' big thing, is that maybe they weren't setting world record times, but they were setting really good times over and over again throughout Stage 1. If Glass can do that on pool, then it just makes BS Plus competition a real force to be reckoned with here. Uh, it's Exalty who picked this map. Like, you look at BS Plus Competition's record on this map, I believe they did manage to pick up the win on it. They did. 10 to 4 was their score against Orcs GP Normal Ops on this map. Yeah. In the process, Glast did set that Challenger League record of a 105.36. And uh, still, Exalty made the decision that this was a map that they wanted to play. Yeah. First of all, against BS Plus Competition. It may work out for them a little bit better on this round. Glast having slid oh. out. The Quattro will crash as well. Link is trying to trace Snow but Snow will cross the line with a 105.5. Link is down. Glass will take third, and it's a round win for BS Plus Competition. Exalty may have just picked into BS Plus Competition's hands at this point because they seem real comfortable on this one. I, I thought, you know, obviously Glass had been setting those times. If Snow can keep doing that as well, uh, mm. it's absolutely massive. Glass had a little mistake in the water section there, uh, but apart from that, Things are looking really good for them, and uh, yeah, they could be very uh, easily 2-0 up in this series before long. 105.6 has kind of been the target time for a very strong round. Maybe yeah. not an incredible round, but a very strong round that should be winning you rounds here in the Challenger League. And both players from Exalty are showing, or sorry, both players from BS Plus Competition are showing that they can crush that. Exalty have gotten close to it in uh, both of these rounds now, but the pace from BS Plus Competition is absolutely there. And Exalty seem to have just picked directly into their hands. And unlike against alternate attacks where, you know, maybe they hadn't picked uh, Airwalk yet, maybe you're like, oh, well, we can take them to it. You should know that BS Plus Competition have looked very comfortable the one time that we've seen them play this map. Yeah, well, this time around, Exalty are in that first and second position. McQuattro, however, gets a little bit of a clip of the wheel, I think, on the box and falls back a little further, trying to take that risky line. Link gets it cleanly, but there on that wall after that turn just gets hit. And Glass takes over first place once again uh, from third to first and uh, forces the draw. Last is so quick through that identity. Picks up uh, 105.6. Round winning time. Who would have thought it? Me. I said it at the start of the last round. And it means Exalty still sitting behind. Only a single point separating them. But BS Plus competition of the two teams, I think, are definitely the team that are threatening an ace at the moment. Yeah. 
and now PS Plus competition still just one point ahead, but you do get the feeling that they are a lot more comfortable here. Glass with a really good start as well. No mistakes from the rest of the field. They are just down by a full tenth. Like, uh, <laughs> that, that, that is just how that is at the moment. But obviously, that can all be equalized quite easily. Snow moves up into second place, but Link with exit speed gets that overtake done. And now, once again, uh, it's, it's getting towards a tight round. But Glass still just putting together a really solid time. These lines are clean and consistent. Yeah, Link is a little bit quicker through that section of uphill, downhill, having to keep his wheels on the ground, and he's managed to hold on to first place at the moment. Quattro drops a little bit away from the other three cars, but Link is going oh, to have to try and race Glass, Glass and Snow. What? Both of them make a mistake, and here comes me, Quattro, back from behind to try and challenge Glass to the finish line. Whoa, Link what? has made the touch. It's going to be me, Quattro versus Glass, How? and Glass will get to the line first, cleans it up just in time to hold on to this lead overall for BS+. Plus competition how yep how yep <laughs> how did class <laughs> win that round in any okay yeah cool bs plus competition uh you know they, they they went to all universes and they chose the one in which they win every round apparently <laughs> you know they they, they, they handpicked this one uh where exalty make mistakes at the perfect times uh for bs plus competition to capitalize off of them and uh, yeah, it's going to feel like now Exalty have been trying their best to push four points here and BS Plus Competition still just managed to get everything done. Mikwakro, uh, I might give you a point for that one, but it's not great <laughs> for your overall time on this round. Falls back into fourth position. Snow and Glass now in first and third. No, and Glass are going to try and box Link out of anything in this round. Move the lead further ahead, and it's Link chasing down Snow. Glass has been the quickest player on this identity so far, so we'll see if Link can get something done versus Snow, who will lose a little bit of speed on the exit there. Link, oh, though, no. will be the player to make the crash. I said BS Plus competition did look like the team threatening an ace on this map, and there it is. It comes to pass. Be BS Plus competition will move to eight and four. Yeah, I, we, it was a long time coming, I think. You know, uh, Exalty had, you know, done a good job of keeping up with them for the time being. But as soon as you make a, a bad mistake at any point in this one and, and Snow and Glass are still kind of in the runnings, it seemed like they were going to take it. Their consistency right here on pool, really good so far. It's looking like they're going to be moving up 2-0 in the series no matter what. Uh, just not quite the preparation from Exalty so far on some of these maps that you would expect. And we'll have to see if they can pull it back on some of the later maps in this match as well. It's still going to be very, very difficult. Dropping down 2-0 early on is absolutely not what you want to be doing at the top of this. It becomes so difficult to really claw back in that lead. We saw Freezy Dream the last time around. They did manage to keep it close. And as soon as they started dropping behind, well, they immediately lost against alternate attacks. And that's, uh, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough, but here's an opportunity now for Exalty to get some points back. Link is in first place, but Snow and Glass to clean on that identity. And Link just about holds on to that first position, but not by much at this point. And if he takes less speed through this final turn, it's going to go down to the wire. So many players neck and neck with each other, but it's an ace somehow for BS Plus competition to close out the map. Only 36,000 between the top three players, but somehow it does end up with BS Plus competition finishing 11-4. Glast is so quick through that identity and it pays dividends for BS Plus competition over the course of that. I never realized that Zebras were such big fans of pools, but I guess it makes sense. You live in a savanna, you get as much water as you can, and when you get a lot of it, you just start to go. I was wondering where we were going to get a little bit more zoology. Well, I'm not know quite zoology, zoology fact, fact, but yeah, it, that's it's just zoology me really, related. Really, really forcing it that time around, I think. You know, <laughs> if I had to self-criticize a little. <laughs> Zebras like water. That's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's part. really reaching for it. I think I'm scraping yeah. the bottom of the barrel on that. Yeah, maybe. But either way, it's still a bit of zoology, you know. It's, it, it may not be, you know, a fact per se, but it's, it's, it's a mention. And that's all that matters, to me, yeah. at least. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of it. I'm also a big fan of breaking. The last time we visited this track today, we didn't get, honestly, many particularly tight rounds uh, in between Exalty and Easy Dream. Exalty kind of 
cruise to their wins when they got them or easy dream were taking advantage of large mistakes from exalty but it's a really really fun match when we do manage to see all four players reach that identity at similar times because the risk Whoa. is so clear that's me quattro sliding out has not lost control of the car too much and will stay alive but having lost a lot of speed it will allow both players from bs plus competition to make the overtake yeah, both players from BS Plus Competition got a little bonk at the start, which did send them down by about a second. They've actually both made up uh, about four tenths on Link over the course of the uh, map so far. Link actually a lot less speed moving towards the identity, which obviously gets evened out by the reactor what? boost. But either way, things are looking good. BS Plus Competition have caught up all the way down from uh, minus 1.2 seconds into first and second position. And actually, they take the ace from that round somehow, some way. Both of them were down by over a second at the first checkpoint uh it, it's not a quick round I'm, I'm a level with you that is about two seconds behind the current best on this track a 113.5 but it's still it's still an ace for bs plus competition i'm honestly I'm, I'm just kind of surprised all three players who entered that first beam none of them went for the strat of kind of wiggling the car while you break in order to get rid of your water wheels earlier yeah. and that includes link who really needed to hold on to that first place at the very worst it needed to get a second place to deny the ace and uh link just chose to kind of take the safer route through anyway and it costs Exalty the win. It gives up the ace and BS Plus competition. All of a sudden, start off this map three in absolute dominant fashion. Me Quattro has slid out again at the top of that ice slide. That ice slide has really claimed some lives. I think every time we've come to breaking, we've seen one or two uh, massive mistakes on the ice, losing seconds at a time. Obviously, if you lose a gear there, you go way off. There, uh, you're mm. not getting down the hill, so you have to reset. Oh. You have to go all the way through again. Link loses a bunch of speed there. And again, Snow and Glass up in first and second place. They're saving it this time around. No wiggles, no, no attempts to gain a bunch of speed uh, on this one. They know that they've overtaken Link already. Uh, Glass tries to get a little more speed through the end to try and overtake his teammate. <laughs> but apart from that, really no uh, problems for them. They didn't try to do anything wild. They got another ace. <laughs> it's just it's so cheeky from Glass to overtake his teammate when they're under <laughs> no real pressure to still just risk it a little bit more. To be like, no, no, this is my red win. I'm the MVP <laughs> here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, they're keeping count of their points, 100%. BS Plus competition have a have an in-house competition going on right now. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, I did it again. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I said competition. Oh, yeah. That's the word that's in their name. Yeah, it is. Thank you for explaining <laughs> the joke for me, Twiggy. Well done. I really I, appreciate I it right now. I didn't mean it to be a joke. I don't know what you're talking about. That's the problem. I thought you were yeah. going to pick up on it. That's why I tried to get ahead of the, uh, you know. No, but I either didn't. Way. <laughs> I did not manage to pick up on it at all. I was Exalty. too busy not paying attention to you. Exalty. I've had a really difficult time just getting stuff done. Yeah. This time around, no slide out on the ice link. And McQuattro are in first and second position. But Glass takes more speed into the dirt. Maybe a little too much speed into the dirt. Clips the wall falls back into fourth now. And Link and McQuattro have an opportunity to take back some points here. But the, the end of the map has not been consistent for them so far. Link mm. has had a difficult time taking speed into the water here. It's good from him this time around. But it's only four tenths between everybody here on this one. And that is definitely make up at this point. Link and McQuattro get it cleanly the first time around. Not a massive amount of speed, but staying ahead of the two BS Plus competition. Ooh. Players Link overdoes it a tiny bit, but stays just <laughs> about ahead. Snow had so much more speed. Gained up towards three hundredths uh, there. Glass is uh, trying his best to get the uh, map done, but either way, McQuattro and Link take back an ace. Yeah, and uh, it was close at the end. That gap between the cars is a little bit deceptive at the end as they lose speed then heading up to the line. Snow nearly managed to catch up to Link anyway. That's an important day for Exalty though. 6 yeah. zero down to kick things off. They're back within three. And that time around, it honestly wasn't really off the back of big mistakes from BS Plus competition. That is a big mistake though from Snow to kick that round off. Exalty just outdrove them on that yeah. last round. Yeah, it was that. Yeah, it was just pure speed from Exalty that time around. That's... Oh, okay. Fine. Link is fine. fine. <laughs> all good. It's going to have a bruise, but that's uh, all good. A little bit of whiplash. No problem. Everybody loves a bit of whiplash. Uh, good movie. Uh, Glass <laughs> in first place now. McQuattro and Link trailing. And uh, Glass does need to make up for Snow's loss of four seconds on this one. Needs to stay in that first position.
trying to hold off Mi Quattro at the moment. Mi Quattro, basically the first time we got to see them do the identity was that last round when uh, Glass was a long way behind, when there was really no pressure on. In a battle where there is actually potentially a round win on the line, Exalty trying to get even closer to BS Plus competition. Can Mi Quattro close the distance on Glass? Who enters first? Again, every player saving that first beam. That means no gain ground gained by Mi Quattro through that first beam. Glass will take a lot more wiggling distance over the second beam and cleanly win the round of the 114. Mi Quattro didn't really push that one, just looked happy to settle for the draw. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, I guess. There's no point in risking it and having snow catch up to you, I don't think, uh, on that one. A draw is not a bad standing, well, even when... They're down no, I know, three yeah. points, Twiggy. Yeah, I mean... exactly. Even, even, but in this situation, you know, you are, you, they, they have four points left to go until the end. You can afford one draw, I feel like. And I would rather see a player safe that than go for a risk. Well, I, I would rather see the risk, obviously, but for them, <laughs> they probably would rather go for that safe finish. Yeah, no, I, look, I understand why it happens. I'm just, I'm unconvinced when you're trailing by three points, when you're down by two maps as well already, that that is the correct yeah. situation to be safing in. That does feel a little bit like when you really do need to start to push it a little bit. And maybe the fact that Exalty didn't, showing that this Ooh, may not be gone. a map that they're very comfortable on. Glass is fully gone. The Pit of Despair Ooh, avoided nice this time around. Mi Quattro and Link, though, are now in the driver's seat for this round, trying to hold off Snow trying to get as many points back as possible. Yeah, Mikwacho now leading from Snow. Snow has a little more speed through that section. Link uh, finding it hard to keep up at this point. I don't think Snow, uh, barring a mistake from Mikwacho, will be able to catch up, but both players safing it once again. Snow not trying to push too hard for that one, and in his case, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, they have seven points. They don't need to be pushing for anything more than that. Mikwacho will come home first. Oh, very nice time, 113.3 uh, to start things off there. And Exalty, that is the momentum that they need, but it may come a little too late. That's on, a new man. challenger league record. Ah. And it's by two tenths as well. By that did tenths? not okay. that did not look like anyone was really threatening it right up until that point when Mi Quattro does manage to drive an incredible 113.3 does it without too much risk on those beams at the end as well. Yeah. And despite that, Exalty trail by two points. They will need to find a couple of more round wins here in order to make this difference up. They're not in the position of needing an ace. They can force an overtime with just two rounds wins, but an ace would put them firmly in position to win this one. Yeah, they obviously have the uh, capabilities here on this map to be able to really push for great times, as we saw there from Miquatro. And that wasn't even with a, a risky first uh, first beam, you know? It went mm. for a relatively safe line on that first beam. No, no massive amount of wiggles to try and uh, get as much speed as possible through into the end. It uh, was very inside on that last one, but uh, Glast staying in first place now. Maybe this is the time for Exalty to try and push for something. Obviously, two points down uh, when BS Plus competition could win at any point. Really important time to get something done, but again, both players keeping that safe line. McQuattro taking a lot more speed through it, but not enough to catch up with Glast at all, and Glast is going to go for that wiggle. Almost goes over the edge, but keeps it <laughs> all, all the way to the limit. Stays in first place. I think he did exactly as much as he needed to there to keep Exalty at bay. They only get one point out out of it but now either team can win there's going to be a long scrape down the left side of glass car there he lost some paint on the outside for sure pushed as far as he could while not losing it into the wall and holds off exalty to force the nine seven scoreline guaranteed winner now on this round and bs plus competition they have a lot less to uh -oh. do but it's all on glass to do it needs to hold off both link and me quattro for the rest of the track and secure a top two finish and that is a, a pretty scary uh, situation to be in. Maybe, you know, Link has not really had too many finishes in the top two, but Miquatro has been doing incredibly well so far. And with Link actually really pushing for first position now, that can start to look a little more scary here. Glass needs to get this turn perfectly. Oh, it done. looks like he slides he's out. Is he he bumps off the wall. He's staying alive just about. He'll get down there, but that is not good. That's a lot of lost oh, my seconds. Lord. And Snow has fallen even further back. This actually really could be the ace for Exalty to steal away the map from BS Plus competition now. Barring massive mistakes from these players, it's, it's all but over.
I'll go beyond could be the ace. I'll say should be the ace for Exalty right now. If they throw this away, it will be one of the largest throws we've ever seen in the Challenger League. They do not look likely yeah, to be I mean, doing that's... it. They're keeping it very safe indeed. They have plenty of speed still to get to the line. Will not be setting any records with that one. They didn't need to. Exalty Man. with an ace in the 9-7 round. Steal the map out from underneath BS Plus competition. I mean, again, that ice just claims so many lives. And right there, exactly when Glass needed, not even to come first, not to do anything special, just needed to get a point, top two, all good, no problem. Uh, and very much could have in that round, you know, Exalty were not setting blinding times there, couldn't get it done. I, it was just, there's so much pressure on that turn, and it's so easy to lose that gear. After a round like that, you will be feeling absolutely exalted, <laughs> i.e., in a state of extreme happiness, Twiggy. Yeah, I know what exalted means. Thank you very much. Yeah. I have, I, 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 I am a native English speaker. I do know, I do know that. Uh, you could fill me. <laughs> wow, that's that's my job you're talking about. That's genuinely rude. <laughs> wow, I'm finally playing with HR. Get absolutely done, Twiggy. Either way, here we go. We're on to control. And it is, of course, Exalty's second pick of the match. And we'll see what they can get done on this one. Having managed to sneak out uh, the last map away from their opponents, managing to take the win on breaking, they're looking to tie this match back up. Yeah, it's going to feel pretty good to be able to take that away, especially when you're right up against the wall on this one. And maybe uh, that will show into this map. Although Link had a lot of trouble last time we saw it today uh, mm. in, in, in control. Had a lot of... Di mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Uh, yeah, had a lot of difficulty getting into the bobsleigh section cleanly, getting out of the bobsleigh section cleanly as well. Obviously, those link into each other. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, just couldn't keep up with his teammate. But McQuattro was doing very well. Miguatra is doing very well, was doing very well, and hopefully he shall continue to do very well, at least in this round, because he needs to fend off two BS Plus competition players, and the Zebras are charging right now. They're going to be trying to gain, and Miquatro is going to be gained on by Glass. It comes down wow. to this final jump. Miquatro keeps it very low, keeps it very flat, and that'll be enough to get this car across the line and pick up a win, turning this round into a draw. Yeah, I mean, that's what you need to see out of the teammates here. Is Link going to go for something special? He's been, he seems like he's been wanting to do it every time he's DNF. No, this time just going for a, going for the uh, finisher. Very nice. There we go. Love to see it. Either way, but yeah, really good from Miquatro. A great round. Good time as well. Just keeps BS Plus competition at bay. It's your job. Once, once your teammate falls out of the round, it's just the best you can do. Get the draw happening. Exactly mm. what he does. Uh, and it's 110.7, getting very close to that Challenger League record he set earlier, a 110.6. Miquatro, like, look, this is the map that ultimately they did lose on. And I was maybe, my word choice wasn't great, but Miquatro was doing a lot of heavy lifting for the team the last time they visited this map. But that does mean that if Link does start to pick up the performance a little bit, especially, as you said, on that bobsleigh section, Exalty should be comfortably winning rounds here. Yeah, it really it, it should be that way now. And with the draw, obviously, you know, avoiding a horrible situation for them to be in with, uh, God forbid, an ace on that one. Uh, things are looking still okay for them. Snow in first place for the time being. McQuattro is staying up there as well. Link contending with Glass at fourth third position right now. It's going to come down to these two fights. Two separate fights going on. Miquatro, his final jump on the last round was absolutely fantastic. Kept it very low. This uh -oh. time to start things off, it's Glass who's made a mistake. Snow is a little bit slower than Miquatro on the exit. Link is behind them. We'll go to that first jump and we'll see Miquatro has gotten it correctly. Snow will land a little bit sideways. That'll allow oh, Link no. through. And it means an ace for Exalty. Link does clean up that performance. It's BS Plus competition who fail instead. And that's exactly what Exalty were looking for. Oh, went for a really, really tight line on that final jump and just did not work out. Clipped the wheel. And uh, at that point, I mean, the car wasn't even in a good position to go backwards into the finish. Sometimes we've seen players go for that. Uh, when, obviously, because <laughs> turning around at that point, pretty much impossible if you want to gain any kind of time. So going backwards, sometimes a good idea when you do land in that position. That was just an awkward... He was completely on his side. <laughs> Yeah, it, like exactly in between the yeah. two places. No easy way to get that car quickly across the line. And Link was just close enough to make him pay for it as well. 
We'll see if BS Plus Competition have anything else to pay for in this round. No mistakes just yet, but Exalty, they're in great position once again. Three points up, Miquatra on the lead. Link in a position to duel. We'll see if Link is cleanly through the bobsleigh. It looks like a good entry to me. It looks like he's going to get a clean yeah. exit as well. Not the fastest possible line, but faster than Snow's. Yeah, McQuattro staying up as well. And Link making up a lot of time. As you say, Snow regains that position there on the uh, on the no no break section. But now uh, with McQuattro in first place, once again, all Link needs to do is keep the pressure on the two BS Plus competition players because as soon as one of them makes a mistake, you're able to pounce. You're able to get more points abreast for your team. McQuattro again, really, really clean through there. Link gets a little too much airtime and doesn't manage to catch up. It's a good round either way, but Miquatro again just keeping BS Plus competition from getting any real points. Miquatro looking like the best player in Challenger League on control so far. Another 110.7 is fan. Fantastic. And look, I'll be honest, I'm fine with Link being eight, nine tenths down. If he does that consistently, yeah. then all of a sudden, BS Plus competition are just going to find draws at best. And if either of them ever crashes out, then that's it. It's a round win for Exalty. As long as Miquatro just keeps delivering what he's delivering and Link can get that car across the line, even if it's slower, just get it there. Yeah, and I mean, this is basically what we saw last time we saw this map. It's just that Worker was even more consistent than McQuattro yeah. was making it so difficult for Exalty to get anything out of it. So as soon as McQuattro made a mistake, then it was all over. But this time around, it's completely the other way around. McQuattro is the one in the driver's seat right now. And uh, Glass and Snow are struggling to make him work for these. No is in the lead this time around, and it's a little bit clear. There's a little bit of daylight between Snow and Miquatro going into the identity for the first time in favor of BS Plus competition, but a great first jump from Miquatro will give him at least a tie back with Snow. It's incredibly close, entering the final jump. Snow will jump very high indeed, and it's too high, Miquatro, though, has overjumped. It's an ace for BS Plus competition. They've tied us back up. Oh, man, there it is. There's the problem, right? If one of your players is really the linchpin for your team, if they make a mistake, it opens up the door to both players on the opposite side. And now 5-5, five, five, that makes things really, really awkward. That's And it was so close to not being that. He had the lightest of touches on the outside wall there. Ended up grinding along it slightly for a second and two players were close enough to take advantage man. of it. And we're tied up, and all of a sudden, that pressure that was on Miquatro already on this map is redoubled. He needs to continue to set these 110.7s that he was pumping out only a few rounds ago. Yeah, Snow and Glass, despite not having the times to contend with Miquatro so far, they've been consistent. I mean, they've been more consistent than Exalty overall. You know, both of these players have been setting good times over and over again. It's just that they haven't really been enough uh, for Exalty so far. They've just been a little quicker, Exalty. And, uh, you know, Link has been uh, consistently bringing home the rounds with Miquatro. So at this point, uh, you know... If BS Plus Competition keep up that kind of consistency, as long as Exalty just make a couple of mistakes, they can get back into this one. But still, I would say Exalty are in control of the map. Yeah, uh, and at the moment, they're very much in control of this round. Miquatro and Link are both uh, com alongside each other, holding hands for the first time that we have seen on control. Link is here with Miquatro, looking to just close this one out cleanly. Link jumps longer, Miquatro jumps lower. It'll be Miquatro to take the round win with a 110.614. That is just short of the Challenger just, League yeah. record. But Link is two tenths behind. That is a fantastic performance from Link. I want to give full credit on that round to Link for getting there. <laughs> Your tone of voice there really, like, I was like, what? I genuinely that's not, is great. That's not. Like, Miquatro, yeah, he gets really close to his Challenger League record. He's done that several times in this yeah. round. Link really cleaning up on that last round is massive for the team, and it was a well-deserved ace. Glast, he hits a wall. Yes, Glass does hit a wall indeed. Very good power of observation from you there, Nua, as a Miquatro and Link now on that victory lap, trying to get this one done. As long as both of them keep it clean, it's all good for them. Snow has to get into first position to try and deny that from them, give them another opportunity here in this map. But so far, it's just been looking like Exalty know what they're doing. Miquatro knows what he's doing real Ooh. well. Link gets a little wall bump that might put him back on par with Glass down at the back, and indeed it does. And now it's going to be that two well the the two horse race as it were 
Two two horse races going yeah. on. Called out a horse race squared as Snow versus Mi Quattro is the battle at the front. Snow slides out though. Mi Quattro is gone. Link, he just needs it. Doesn't matter oh, if he loses it. to Glass at this point as long as Mi Quattro gets it cleanly to the end. And I back him to do so. He has done so. Glass will take second place, but it is consolation as Exalty pick up the map win. Yeah, Exalty just. I mean. <laughs> Again, like, the thing is, this time, even when we say, you know, Link was there too, right? But Link was putting together a really good performance as well. It's just that McQuattro was another level, right? Yeah. That was absolutely yeah, yeah. insane. It was the McQuattro show once again, but not due to a lack of performance from Link. It was literally just because McQuattro was putting together brilliant times over and over again, had all the consistency in the world apart from one or two rounds. Yeah, and then there was one really, really great round from Link within two tenths of that Challenger League record himself. And Miquatro was once again there to set a great time, pick up the round win. And that is the ace that separated the two teams ultimately by the end. That is what gave Exalty that map win. And we're back now, even footing two to two. It didn't necessarily look like this was the way it was going to go. And BS Plus competition, they'll have to try and regain their lead on off-road. Yeah, definitely a map where it is possible to do that once again you know they were relatively consistent on the last map you know there were a lot of mistakes as well from both teams so you know not not a, not a horrible situation to be in but this is one of those maps again where consistency and just being good at getting your line down every single time is way more important than driving quickly because obviously we've seen a lot of really good times here but at the same time this is one of the things where the line is incredibly important you can you you can like, I'd, I'd rather a player lose, you know, three tenths to having, you know, a suboptimal amount of speed than crashing into a tree or missing a checkpoint yeah. or anything like that or, or sliding out on the ice. Yeah, so easy to miss a checkpoint through those trees. We're seeing less of it already as these players continue to learn the maps. Oh, snow. They seem not to be getting there. Snow, though, will lose a lot of speed. He will not get speed checked by the second jump, though, and should still come home for an ace of 59.7. Nice. Up at the top is within a tenth of the Challenger League record already. And uh, hey, that's a great first round for BS Plus competition. Yeah, again, Glast seems to have these maps where he's absolutely insane on. This time off-road, not pool. Uh, getting way closer to the uh, Challenger League record than we've seen for mm. a little while now. And, uh, you know, you keep that up and Exalted don't really have a chance here. Uh, you know, McQuattro just doesn't have the same kind of uh, consistency on this map that he does on control. It seems like every player has this kind of one map that they feel really good on. And then mm. a lot of the other ones, you see a lot of mistakes start to slip on through. And uh, for Exalty, you see that a little all too often, I think. Yeah, it has been unfortunate for them in their first couple of matches here, but they're still in Ooh, with a wow. chance to start their That's season new. off 2-0. That is definitely a new one. I haven't seen that crash before. We always love to see a completely new way to run out of that oh, one. Glast is wiggling around somewhere back on the ice. We'll leave them alone at the back. We'll figure out what that battle looks like once we've decided our top two, and it is a close top two. Snow oh. and Miquatro. Snow touches a tree. Miquatro is cruising on through and should Snow be sick. Line. Snow missed the checkpoint. Miquatro will finish the race. It means a link will come no home. Way. And it is a counter ace in the second round. Exalty are back on three. Man, we were just saying, oh, you know, we haven't really seen too many too many people missing checks. Snow, Snow's just in a tree. Oh, Glass is in a tree. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff going on there. BS Plus competition, you know, look, uh, thank God we took you off the map. Honestly, thank God we, we, we you know, relocated you because you, you may have been seriously injured that round. Honestly, I'm not sure I'm deep enough into the tree line to get away from the cars <laughs> yeah. on this one. We, they we are need going, to get you they are hunting for me. <laughs> they are they trying are to find the way you are. <laughs> yeah, we're playing never find me. With Nero I'm on. too well hidden. <laughs> I, I'm very glad. I would not want to lose you. Mikocha. Oh, yeah, Mikocha okay. has crashed. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, all up to Link now on this round, and uh, it's, it's, we're, we're into the silly part of the day, I think. Obviously, everybody's getting a bit hungry, you know, mm. you know, it's that part of the day. So, I think uh, everybody <laughs> wanting to get stuff done. <laughs> I, this is a long series, it seems like it's going to be. These t two, two, two teams, try, stop interrupting me. These two teams <laughs> are really pushing each other to the brink. 
I was just going to ask Twiggy. It sounds, sounds like you might be getting hungry, pal. Uh, I think that sounds like that's what's happening. I haven't there. eaten today. I haven't eaten today. Yeah, but no, I look, figured that's. Let's not talk about my personal like. life on broadcast, okay? Come on. <laughs> All right. Yeah, hey, Link is really close to glass as we head through the trees for this identity. May, in fact, be able Snow to catch him as we head towards the line. Snow missed the checkpoint. Glass will outrace Link for a 59.678 on this one. It is not quite a new Challenger League <laughs> record, which Stop still sits that. at 625. If he'd stop getting so close that I second guess myself, I'd stop doing it. Stop doing that. Every time somebody gets within a tenth of the record, you're like, and he gets a six. Oh, never mind. All good. <laughs> Oh <laughs> lord. If Snow could get through checkpoints right now, BS Plus competition would have way more points. <laughs> that is <laughs> so true. Um, yeah, yeah. Just hit, that's, yeah. I'm trying to <laughs> come up with a follow up to that that neither condemns it nor, nor praises it because it is true. It's also kind of toxic, Twiggy. Hey, look, I mean, look, it's, uh, that's, our, that's our brand, isn't it, at this point, I feel like. <laughs> They they Maybe know it's all in, it's, they know it's all in good fun. Come My on. brand is gaslighting you into thinking that you're the only toxic one on this stream. <laughs> you are very good at that, worryingly so. I feel like <laughs> either you've been through some tough times in life, or you've given a lot of people tough times in life as well. <laughs> either way, glass in first place. Snow is going to have to get a very clean end to the map to try and gain any points for BS Plus competition. But so far, this is looking like a really good time from everybody Ooh. involved. Link and McQuatro doing their best to catch up, but with glass setting a 59.7, very difficult affair. Five at five, five now the scoreline a fairly processional round through the back half of it as well no mistakes no one really pushing hard enough to make a difference either and that means that everyone's just happy to finish that one out with a draw and these two teams nothing to separate them on what is a very very important map for this match whoever wins this gets two chances to close it out and one chance to avoid having to go all the way down to that map seven yep well now I mean, it's getting so much more important oh. to get results out of these rounds. And when you're making mistakes like that, that is not looking good for you. BS Plus Competition now in the position to get at the very least a round win here. Pull away from Exalti. Although we saw what happened last time. They got an ace. Uh, they both crashed the round afterwards <laughs> and gave away an ace straight away once again. But McQuattro is going to make it difficult for them to gain too many points out of this round. Staying in second place for the time being. Snow on the chase. But he's made a lot of mistakes here in the identity. Hit trees. Missed checkpoints. That's got to be weighing on you as you move oh, on forward. Glass. But this time it's Glass. He finds a box ferry moving on. And McQuattro gets on through. Snow almost misses a checkpoint, but takes more speed. It's not quite enough. McQuattro stays in first place. And uh, best best possible. Okay. Okay. Link is in, in with the... Okay. Link is... Link is... Uh, oh, wow. Really? Hey, <laughs> I feel like uh, the not safe for work. There is some things going on between Link. Hey, look, I, I guess the namesake, obviously, liking fairies, probably, you know? That's true. Hey, we hey, got listen. there kind of stuff going on there yeah it's a week to make zelda references i guess at the very <laughs> least uh given <laughs> that something just yeah whatever we'll move on from that that was a potential round win for exalty though and it is link making too many mistakes in the identity this time around snow as you pointed out nearly missed that checkpoint again he has been risking more in this identity than some of the other players has been trying to drive straighter oh. through the trees which is quick but uh yeah leaves you at risk of doing things like that early in the map and later in the map missing checkpoints as you go for it glass has also crashed. Exalty are cruising towards this finish line. Man, every time. I, I, look, I, I said, you know, a BS Plus competition, they can get some points out of this round, but we saw what happened last time, and here it is again. Both players from BS Plus competition make a critical error earlier on in the map. Uh, Snow down by two seconds, Glass down by nine seconds at this point, and McQuattro and Link just need to keep it clean, and they have been the team that have been better at uh, keeping clean. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of discount last round, but apart from that, <laughs> everything has been looking good for them. McQuattro overtakes his teammate, but it didn't really matter what happened there. It was all going to be clean through to the very end. They don't need to set any groundbreaking times. They get themselves uh, to the 9-6 scoreline. This track, it's been close so far. There was an ace back each way and then three draws in a row. And then BS Plus competition kind of lulled into a false sense of security, maybe. I don't know what it was. Yeah. They both just crash wildly out and Exalty are given an ace. They drive safely to the end. The correct decision making, correct shot calling, not to risk it there. And uh, cleanly pick up that ace and put themselves in a position where they should be able to close this one out. And heading back to their own map pick should look to close this match out in six. Start their season off 2-0. Much, much stronger than stage one. 
Well, right now, Glass and Snow in first and second position. They can deny that right now from Exalty by bringing them to a 9-9 scoreline. And with Link making him an early mistake, that may just be possible. McQuattro, Exalty's, you know, continued future lies in your hands now. And uh, down by two tenths to Glass at the moment. Things are staying incredibly tight. It's all going to come down to the identity. How clean you can get through it. How much speed you can take on through. Although Snow, he's bonked a tree just a little bit. Falls back further. And it looks like no matter what... What Exalty are now getting that point out of this round. Even McQuattro getting first place out of it. Exalty take uh, off-road here and are looking like they may just be able to finish off the series just about. It's been a hard fought affair, uh, but they've really pushed on through. Miquatro has been massive all day long and here against BS Plus competition is making life incredibly difficult. It is, you have to rip a round win out of Miquatro's bloody hands at this point. I mean, it is, you, he will not go down without a massive fight in nearly any round. Yeah, he's like a, a child with a piece of candy. It's like trying to, you, you're never getting it away from them. It's just not happening, you know? Yes, that's that famous phrase. Thing. Unable to take candy from a baby. Unable. <laughs> well, I didn't mean it because no, no. Your 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 ability to hold on to candy increases exponentially with age. Honestly. So by the time you know you go from a baby to a child, I feel like you get very good at holding on to candy. All right. Yeah. Take your word for it. It's been a few years since I was a child myself. I think you've more experience. I in the I, I would than I say do. right now I am very good at holding on to candy. So uh, look. <laughs> The logic stands that as you get older, you get better at holding on to them. <laughs> yeah, fair point. You're absolutely right. Miquatro is winning this round, and Link is uh, still close in this race. All four players okay. will attempt the inside line on the poles. It gains you three or four tenths. Those crashes are going to lose Glaston Link over three seconds, though. Yeah, we haven't seen grip that much so far uh, throughout the whole of the Challenger League at the moment. And uh, maybe, uh, you know, a lack of practice coming on through at the start. Start there obviously you know that that, that changed that line very early on uh, in, like very recently like a week and a half ago two weeks ago mm. that changed completely everybody uh, noticed that you could gain a couple of tenths by going in between the poles there but it's very difficult to get right mcquarter oh tries to take more speed uh, through the final part of the map there but snow stays out ahead yeah, and it will be Glass coming home for a third place finish as well. Link had made another couple of errors somewhere along the line. His entry into this last identity is uh, not ideal, and he is going to potentially time out. Go on, Link, make it to the... Never mind. He was he trying, to get, he's trying to get wicked points. Even, doesn't even aim for the line. Doesn't even try he's to get there before he it. times out. BS Plus competition win the first round after a tight battle at the front. is lost by Miquatro in the identity, and we'll see on this round, Twiggy, how that inside line on the poles, that new line that has cost some players, see if anyone can fail at this time, if everyone will make it cleanly. Right, exactly, because we haven't seen a lot of players going for the safe line, really. Not at all. A couple of times we've seen this map, everybody has gone for it every single time, but we've seen more mistakes out of it than clean, you know, runs through it at this point. You know, there's oh. McQuattro. Oh my god. Almost losing out on time. Glass does hit a wall and falls back. May not even make the speed check, I'm not sure, but Link overtakes and moves on through. Glass does get through unscathed uh, for the moment, but McQuattro now in second place trying to chase down Snow. Yeah, and it'll be back to this identity with Snow and a fairly commanding lead over a second. Should not need to risk it all that much. Don't expect to see two wheels coming out of that. Miquatra is also, oh, I was going to say, saving it. And then nearly tips his car over. Has to release a lot on entry into the second of our two outside turns. Snow will cross the line cleanly in first place. Miquatro, eight tenths behind. Glast will still beat Link out. Who I think must have had a little bit of a mare at some point in the middle of the identity. Must have uh, had to release after over tilting the car. Yeah, now BS Plus competition. I mean, they seem real. Uh, Snow seems incredibly confident here on this one. Not even putting together amazing times. You know, 102s are, you know, kind of the, the lower end of what we expect to be winning around. But even then, just being consistent on that identity makes you, uh, especially when you have, you know, a two, three, four tenth lead, you don't need to go up to 200 speed. You know, you can keep it around 190, stay completely safe through there, and you'll still get that round win. That's exactly what Snow does, staying real. Oh, Mikuacho, that was an interesting entry into that one. Slams into the pole, falls all the way back once again, claiming lives that, say, uh, that risky line. 
it's again it is a few tenths right it is a yeah. big time save going for the risky line there but given that these players don't seem to have it all that consistently and given that some of these earlier rounds have been separated even with just pure driving on other parts of the track by several tenths maybe not the line to go for this oh round though Lord. not separated by all that much at all link is challenging glassed and snow up at the top has managed to get glassed it'll come down to the exit on this turn oh, what exit. for link and he will cross the line 41 thousands <laughs> in front of glass snow with a slow exit will not be able to catch up me quattro is just spinning off the track but it's a draw nonetheless that's the kind of round I, I, I was looking forward to seeing on Grip from the moment yeah. it was released. You know, we saw this identity and we were like, oh my lord. Like, the uh, ability to yeah. be able to take more time through uh, that one, insanely, you know, it could could make some really good experiences for those final uh, couple seconds of a round. That's the kind of stuff that I was looking to see, and that is absolutely brilliant. But it only results in a draw for Exalty. They're still not making up those points yet. Yeah, they are trying to chase back this one. They still have an extra chance on map seven to close it out if they need it. But it's just, it's, it makes a lot more sense to close it out on map six. It's a lot less pressure. This is their opponent's map, or sorry, excuse me. No, this is Exalti's map selection. And so yeah. they should be wanting to close it out here. Yeah, and uh, another mistake there on that uh, risky line with the poles. Snow is the one who gets hit this time around. And, and since Snow has been the one setting the best times for VS Plus competition so far, that's a big loss for the team. It's looking like it could be an ace for Exalty, especially uh, now a couple of mistakes have come on through once again for VS Plus competition. They've got a lot of time in their hands, three seconds to be exact, all the way through this one. They can keep it as safe as they want to. And you can see that. Link only going up to 190 speed. McQuattro only going up to 190 speed. You don't need any more than that. It's not groundbreaking times. It gets them the ace. Yeah, it's still a low 102, 102.1 for me, Quattro. It's still a strong time, but given that there was no risk whatsoever on that identity, uh, I'm impressed nonetheless. That is a very, very clean round from the members of Exalty, and that ace will bring them back into a lead as well. 3-2 to two still sits the map score, and with Exalty having the lead now, BS Plus competition, all of a sudden, those hands are going to be starting to get a little bit sweaty on controller, keyboard, whatever your choice is. Yeah, the time right now that players are looking to beat, set by Arthur Neo, or 101.889 on the Challengers League. Obviously, the uh, world record uh, set by Pack so far, or 101.343. So we really haven't seen anything insanely close to that. A few tenths, yeah, mm. but uh, nothing That's like... three tenths off, most part. Yeah, exactly. So nothing... Um, sub 102 so far from any of these players and a lot of that comes down to them wanting to go for safer lines uh, as they get through to the finish line because a lot of the time there is a lot of time separating the players by the time they get to the identity and there absolutely is this time around there won't be too much separating our top three but two of those three are the members of Exalty? Never mind. Miquatro is in a wall, and all of a sudden, Glass has the lead. A better entry to the pool than Link. Miquatro is going to be behind Snow as well. And now it's Glass holding off Link up at the front, looking to pick up this round win and even back up this scoreline to seven and seven with either team in with a chance with the ace to win it out from here. That's exactly where we are going. It's track point both ways, it's match point for Exalty. Yeah. Now, it is really important both of them get this one done. Exalty obviously have that cushion. Right now, they are not under a lot of pressure. BS Plus competition are the ones that need to bring this one back. An ace right here would be absolutely beautiful for, but so far they've struggled with consistency, not only throughout the series, uh, but throughout this map as well. Uh, Snow and Glass, generally, we think of as quite consistent players because they're not the ones that are, you know, obviously a mid-table team in the last stage. Mm. They weren't ones setting a world record which means that they were more consistent than most teams overall. If you're managing to get towards the top four, but not setting world <laughs> record times, that is generally what happens. But maybe BS Plus Competition can bring this one back here. Glass gets a snow down, a slowdown, still makes so uh, snow. the jump, but uh, moves back a little further. Link actually takes first place. Yeah, Link moving forward as Snow got a slow down as well on the entry into the dirt. Through the pool we go, no errors. Link having to release slightly to move on through. And that means Snow through into the lead. This shouldn't be the round winning round, the map winning round, but maybe Glass and Snow can both get past Link. Glass is going to risk it. He's very, very high on that Whoa. turn and has to go wide on Wait, the exit. Link, Link has Snow oh. as well and will turn it into a draw by half a tenth. When Link needs to get a good exit off of that final turn, 
always manages to bring it out. Absolutely yep. insane. The inside, if, if you're able to set yourself up for a, a, a real, like a turn that goes right up towards the edge of mm. the track, you gain so much more time than you ever could by driving quickly through the identity. Yeah, and it was, you saw Glast was actually trying to set up for that line through the turn, but started a little bit too early. And the higher you are, the harder it is to go fast while keeping the car from tipping over. It meant Glast had to release a little bit, and he was no threat to Link then by the finish line. And Link oh. did a great job of keeping it clean all the way through. Snow hits the sign. It's me, Quattro, and Link versus Glast up at the top. And it is going to be all three of them cleanly through the section with the poles. All of them take a line through. Ooh. And it is Link then making a mistake on the entry into the dirt. This race is all about me, Quattro and Glass, but it will come down to that third, fourth positioning as well. Yeah, and a round where every point really counts now. McQuattro and Glass are just fighting for first place, trying to get that one done. McQuattro gets an awkward entry into the first part of the identity, takes a better exit, but Glass still out ahead now, but he slides a little bit. It's really tight between the two of them, but McQuattro gets a better exit, gets over the line. Now it's between Link and Snow. Who's going to cross the line first? It is Link. He just barely makes the speed check at the end, but gets it done. 10-9 the scoreline, and Exalty take the series. Exalty take the series and with that start stage two off at a two and zero. Twiggy, I'm impressed. Exalty yeah. definitely came here to play some track mania this season. This is the team two and zero who finished last season two and five. Yeah, Exalty are not making anything look, you know, insanely simple whatsoever. Uh, you know, losing a map to Easy Dream, they've lost two maps to BS Plus competition and every map they've played so far has been, you know, hard fought victories. But <laughs> whether by an inch or a mile, they are 2-0 up now. And that's <laughs> really important for them, considering they're a team who struggled to find just getting over that line in series in stage one. So this is yep. a brilliant start for them, considering they've got to come up against, you know, the alternate attacks next week, Sprout the week after that. This was a similar story to their first stage in the... Uh, towards the end of the uh, stage, they needed wins, but they were up against really difficult teams. This time around, they don't need as much out of those games as they did before. And even then, I kind of rate them right now. You know, they yep. have the consistency. Well, they have the skill, you know, maybe not consistency in the same way as some of the other teams up towards the top, but they definitely can contend with some of those better teams. Absolutely, and they will have to. Their next match is taking place next Thursday. They have to play alternate attacks. But as you say, I'm kind of rating Exalty right now. I could see them making that a tough match for alternate attacks yeah. who have not looked unbeatable so far this stage. That is something to look forward to in the future. But in the much nearer future, we still have a match to look forward to. Works GP Numlops versus Sprout. Scrappy will make his appearance on stream. I know everyone's been worried. You do worry so. But here they come. And don't go anywhere. We're going to hit the break so we can...